year to all my uh, transportation professionals. And when I say mine, it's because I'm just used to saying that. If anybody uh, ever wondered. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded anything. And today I wanted to share something of utmost importance. If it's important to me, it should be important for, to all of you. And it has to do with field trips. Okay, you got to have the preparedness in your mind. And you must prepare yourself. And let's focus. After you just finished doing a thorough pre trip inspection. What happens when you get to your uh, field trip destination? Do you just sit down on the bus and wait? Do you go join the group? Yeah. What about the post trip inspection? Super important. It's sad. And I got to say it, but a lot of bus drivers don't do it. I'm sorry, I'm not offending nobody. I don't want to offend anybody, but that's the truth. And it's very simple. I'm going to give you an idea of what to do on a pre-trip inspection. Okay? Think about safety, my friends. Transportation pupils. Precious cargo. Your students. Oh my God, they're your children. For that period of time that you're transporting them. So, stay tuned. Take notes. Leave comments. If I forgot something, it's because I am trying to show you guys something that just came to my mind. Okay? Post-trip inspections. Alright. Check it out. Thanks. Apart from doing a thorough, thorough pre-trip inspection, focus. Focus. Um, your wipers, okay, your windshield from the outside, you want the wipers, Not don't just look at them, actually feel the blade, make sure it's not cracked, you want to make sure that it's not cracked or loose, okay, you want to make sure, and I said, after you did a detailed bridge of inspection, that every single line, Clearance lights, your ambers, your reds, your headlights, your turn signals, everything works properly. You want to make sure that that windshield is super clean. Okay? You want to make sure that all your mirrors work properly. Some of these new mirrors say they have a heating coil in there. It means that they warm up and they take out that fogginess away. That's very helpful. Very, very helpful. Okay. Now, let's get to the section that your bus is on, which is the tire. On your wheel well. So you got your wash guard. I'm going to make sure that's secure. I call it a wash guard. You have your mud flap, very important for back spray, okay? And you got the groove of your tire. Minimum thread. Minimum thread in California on each groove must be no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch. Here's a hint. Here's a quarter. The bottom of the quarter, it's 4 30 seconds of an inch. Minimum thread on the front tires. Oh my god, I got a lot of thread. This is good. So minimum thread, no less than 430 seconds. This is perfect. Check the thread on your tires. Check the whole tire. Make sure there's no bulges, no cracks. No fine. I call those fibers that sometimes you can see. Some kind of thready fibers. You know, when you see something tore or cracked. Make sure there's nothing like that. Make sure you do an entire sweep of the tire. An entire sweep. Okay, I'm using my finger right now, but I usually have my tire buddy with me. Make sure there's no nails, rocks, anything that should not be there. Make sure that your wheel has no rust, no cracks, no illegal welding, or... Dance. 
make sure that each lug nut, even though there's caps on these lug nuts, that they are all there. So give every single lug nut a little easy windshield pull or push. There's a hub nuts in there, so you want to make sure that there's no leakage. Yeah, mines are dirty because, you know, I've been driving this crazy rainy weather. But super important, super important section to check. And you got four sections. Make sure all your panels are secure. Okay. You got a couple of panels. Check. Make sure they're secure. Make sure that your emergency exits are all operating properly. Very simple. It says emergency exit up there. There's a narrow point that way. Push this lever up. Open the emergency exit door. All the way out. There's a locking bracket. Test that locking bracket. If the bus was on, I would right now at this point we'd be listening to a buzzer. Very loud. That has to work. There's instructions to operate this emergency exit. Check the seals on the emergency exits. See, there's a lot to do on a field trip, okay, and especially right now when it's rainy weather, rainy weather. Yeah, you got to come to the back. Our school buses have duels on the back. Thank you for that, school bus industry. Again, you got your wash guard. You have your mud flap. Inside, you have a drive shaft guard. Okay, you got shocks. You got airbags. I don't know if you can see, but you got your springs in there. Everything's in there. Everything looks in line. You check the thread, and every single tire, and every single groove, all the way to the back. It must be no less than two thirty seconds, like I showed you with that quarter. It's a very simple to check. Take the entire tire for any bulges or cracks. Check your rim for any cracks, rust, corrosion, illegal welding, all your lug nuts. Make sure they're all there with their caps on. And of course, you have your valve stems. Make sure they're secure with a cap on. And inside, you have another valve stem. Sometimes you will have extensions out. Very simple to check your caps, any seals, any leaks. And of course, you're walking around, checking that everything in is ready for you to take this bus on a field trip. Windows, all your cameras in the rear, red lights, cameras lights, even camera. Okay, you got your rear window, make sure that emergency exit's operable. Very simple, up, out, check the seal, it's good. Close it. And if the bus goes on, right now we'll have my tail lights on or park lights on, signal lights, reverse lights, your license plates, your stop when red lights flash, your reflective decals, make sure they work, your bumper, make sure it's secure, you have an exhaust, check for leaks on the bottom, and this is your engine inside, this is a transit pusher, the engine is on the rear. Because it's a transit style bus. Okay, you got all these panels, make sure they're all secure. You have your battery panel, make sure it's secure. Check for any dirty windows, any cracked windows, any damage to the bus. And you check that wheel section the same way you check the other one. Again, this is just a quick demonstration of what I'm doing with you. Some of you guys are uh, buses that uh, have these compartments right here. And that door is secure. The mechanic have access to that. And this is a uh, diesel fuel. This is for the exhaust. It helps clean that uh, exhaust system. It works really good. And you know, it's just environmentally friendly. And we have everything here that you're going to be checking. Your windows, your fuel door, your cap. Again, it may sound, seem like I'm doing a pre-trip inspection, but I'm just doing a quick walk around because this is my field trip. I already did my detailed pre-trip inspection, you know? I already did all that. And you can use this, my friends, as a post-trip inspection, too. What do you think of that? You can use this 
as a post trip inspection after you just finish the uh, first part of your trip onto your destination. Okay, you always want to do that. And right before you leave, before you load all your students on the bus, you want to do a post trip inspection. So I hope that uh, I was helpful in any way. Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful winter. <laughs> Thanks.